Have you seen your favorite celebrities transform? In today's video, we will talk about the top 10 biggest celebrity fitness body transformation. Chris Hemsworth Hemsworth worked out with trainer and former Navy SEAL Duffy Gaver for the original Thor, focusing on the soon-to-be God of Thunder's arms and shoulders, as the character frequently appears sleeveless. Hemsworth gained 20 pounds of muscle by consuming high-protein foods, but he also depended on non-processed carbs like fruits to aid muscle recovery by reducing muscle protein breakdown. His cardiovascular health and muscle recuperation were aided by fiber-rich veggies. He made sure that everything he ate counted, such as eating quinoa instead of rice because it is higher in protein. Sports like surfing, boxing, and rugby kept Hemsworth in shape before he became Thor. But for the film, he went serious about lifting, alternating the weight, reps, and speed so that his muscles didn't become acclimated to any particular routine. Hemsworth gained so much weight that he couldn't wear any of his costumes. Thor returns in the upcoming Marvel film, Thor, Love and Thunder, and he's kept his body. Hugh Jackman Fitness guru David Kingsbury, who worked on The Wolverine and Logan, told manoffmany.com that the diet for each movie in the trilogy was different, but the concentration on carb cycling was the same. Hugh Jackman used to eat carbs exclusively before 3 p.m., and only on days when he was lifting weights. During filming, the actor abstained from any cheat meals and ate only clean and lean foods. Hugh Jackman was on a basic and clean diet, according to David, which helped them keep track on their calorie intake. Eggs were added in the diet plan as a source of protein, and one cup of oatmeal was included as a source of antioxidants and soluble fiber or breakfast. Jackman's second course was steak. Sweet potato, broccoli, chicken, brown rice, spinach, salmon, and avocado were also included in the diet. Chris Pratt Three or four hours a day of just consistent, ass-kicking hard work is how Chris Pratt, the star of Guardians of the Galaxy, lost 60 pounds in six months. When Pratt auditioned for the Marvel film, he weighed around 300 pounds and was best recognized for his role as Andy Dwyer on the sitcom Parks and Recreation. Pratt would be paired with Duffy Gaver, a personal trainer, and Phil Goglia, a nutritionist. Pratt's diet was overhauled by Goglia who increased his calorie intake to 4,000 per day and added a gallon of water for every pound he weighed. I had to pee all day. Every day. That was the worst part, Pratt added. Pratt had started gaining weight for his parks and recreation role on purpose, but he's now committed to staying ripped. Brad Pitt To play the nihilistic Tyler Durden in Fight Club, Pitt needs a fighter's body, 1999. Pitt dropped to 155 pounds and 6% body fat after putting in a lot of effort and following a strict diet. Pitt became thin and muscular by eating a high-protein diet consisting of six modest meals. Eggs, tuna, poultry, fish, oats and veggies were staples in his diet. Pitt worked out on Mondays, focusing on his chest and back. Shoulders were on Wednesday, arms were on Thursday, cardio was on Friday, and Pitt was off on weekends. Pitt also took grappling, taekwondo, and boxing instruction to improve the realism of his combat sequences. Henry Cavill 
despite the fact that Henry Cavill's physique improved for Batman vs Superman in 2016 and Justice League in 2017. Nothing in either film sticks out like those first pictures of a shirtless, muscular Clark Kent. Cavill worked with demanding Jim Jones in Salt Lake City's Mark Twight and Michael Blevins, who also chiseled the cast of 300 into the likeness of Greek statues. He trained for two months on his own before joining them in Los Angeles for a grueling four months. Sadistic practices like 100 front squats, with the equivalent of his body weight in iron were designed to improve mental toughness, as well as physical attractiveness. Cavill's steely determination is as obvious as his muscles. Ryan Gosling The Notebook's leading man transformed his thin figure into the photoshopped body that had actress Emma Stone and millions of other women, including your girlfriend Sony. In 2011, Gosling was eager to star in Crazy Stupid Love. Despite his insatiable sweet desire, Gosling stuck to bananas and protein smoothies. Gosling's Workout Gosling's workouts lasted two hours and he did them four to five times a week. He concentrated on his chest, shoulders, and core to achieve the ideal player body. Gosling is eating fish, rice, and green vegetables in preparation for his impending role as a Muay Thai kickboxer. Joe Manganello. Manganello went completely shredded, gaining muscle and losing fat. His abs alone are deserving of their own essay. When he played Sophia Bush's love interest Owen Morello on the CW's One Tree Hill, the actor was far from skinny, but he had always desired to get large and strong. He didn't start working out seriously until he was cast as True Blood Werewolf Alcide, and the results speak for themselves. He ate oatmeal, chicken, green beans, almonds, protein bars, apples, and fish to keep his calorie consumption in check. On Mondays and Thursdays, the actor worked out his chest and legs, Tuesdays and Fridays, shoulders and biceps, and Wednesdays and Saturdays, he worked out his back and triceps. Ryan Reynolds The erstwhile goofy from two guys, a girl, and a pizza place acquired 25 pounds of muscle while lowering his body fat to 8%. In Blade, Trinity, Reynolds portrayed the vampire hunter Hannibal King, 2004. Reynolds' body was likewise completely changed for Deadpool and Deadpool 2. Reynolds ingested up to 3,200 calories a day by eating every three hours and stopping his carb intake at 8 p.m. Reynolds also worked out for three hours every day, six days a week. He did 500 to 1,000 sit-ups followed by 8 to 12 reps of weight lifting. Here's the Deadpool 2 workout Reynolds completed. Tom Hardy Tom Hardy was on the scrawnier side of the spectrum in the early 2000s if you saw him. Hardy has undergone some big physique modifications in the last decade, such as when he portrayed the titular convict in Bronson, bulked up as Bane in 2012's The Dark Knight Rises, and as MMA fighter Tommy Conlon in Warrior. Hardy reportedly gained 30 pounds of muscle for his role as Bane. His trainer divided his workouts into four shorter sessions per day, one in the morning, one after lunch, one in the early evening, and one before night. Each session was 20 minutes long and centered on strength training. Christian Bale Bale had to bulk up to superhuman proportions after losing more than 60 pounds, mainly on a diet of coffee and apples to play an insomniac in The Machinist. 
he went on to train and eat his way up from 120 to 220 pounds. Bale was cast as the title character in Batman Begins, which began filming just five months after he finished The Machinist. Meals Bales consisted of one part fat, two parts protein, and three parts carbohydrate. Bale, who is a vegetarian, shunned traditional protein sources like chicken and cattle in favor of eggs, cottage cheese, and protein shakes. Which of these actors is your favorite? Please tell us in the comments section below.